Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Jeez, Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe, what the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Okay, let's get this brack back home now. <sighs> Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Um, how about if I'm like the mentor? Like Professor D or something? Uh, yeah. We'll figure out another cool name for you. 
Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, don't worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. You know I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Oh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. You sure? Okay. How did I do? You're not... A very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid. Who's the real supervillain? So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well... Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the Flying Fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris? It's none of my business, but... Did something happen 
between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris, I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But you'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. Ah, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? Uh, yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow, so many trees. Ugh, they look like giant cartoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry, I'll be around. Nothing. I'll tell you it. 
Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Tell me if you need anything, okay? We sure. only sell handmade... Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Um, uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Oh, no. He's just... an old family friend. Gotcha. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. <sighs> Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made for... <sighs> Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made products. for me once. Come take a look. Um, I'd like one of those snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You we bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry, I'm, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody. Gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <gasps> and you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... 
I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of air? Oh, the pros join forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her, too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Mm, Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. <laughs> it looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. 
she just wanted some money. Don't we all? You're too quick. Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> he's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, <laughs> how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just, I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you so you don't make a mess and get us caught. find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> Locked door. Maybe to Karen's room is inside. Yeah, no. 
No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, but definitely no hidden key. Shit, these are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Sean, I saw Grandma. Don't. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. How much more Irish can you be? We have to get into that room before they come back. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. find a way to open that door or Daniel's gonna keep ranting about it. Come on. Where is this card again? <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Come on. <sighs> Hated collecting trinkets. <laughs> Come on. Where is this card again? No way she... Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. Come on. Where is this card again? No way she wore it to church. Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel, or he'd freak. Come on, Sean. <sighs> okay, Stephen. Where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Stephen doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. 
I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Clarence Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all... Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. I miss my music. This playlist is boring as hell. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Mm, so that's Ulysses? I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. Oh. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Okay. Hm. I can relate. I miss not having any memories of her, Sean. <sighs> These pictures are so... random. Why would they remove all the pictures? Because they made them sad. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Yeah. Dad did the same thing too. Is that an amethyst? Any picture of mom. <sighs> she was into new age bullshit. Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like the hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. Never been a big fan of hiking. But he, I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? I hope she took good care of you.
Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. 